how you see. This is Tinka. Um, I'm long time no video, I know. Um, I've been really, really super um, busy. I'm just trying to do about two videos tonight on two or three different subjects and things that um, I've been going through and want to talk about. So, the first thing is we are still using Connections Academy. And um, as far as this year, um, compared to last year, I don't think we're doing um, too much um, differently than last year. I don't really have any complaints at the moment. Um, you know, everybody is still staying on schedule. Actually, they're better on schedule this year than they were last year. And I'm able to juggle things a little bit easier now. I'm not as restrictive to um, doing work at a certain time, certain place, and all that stuff. So. Um, I did something this year that is different, and those of you who are on Connections Academy um, may want to look into this because it helped us out tremendously, and I may or may not have talked about it in another video, but when you go into your scheduler and you are able to um, move the classes around as long as you have the same amount of um, hours per week, that is in the scheduler. What I have done as um, I did toward the end of last year, and now this is something I'm going to continue to do, is I do one subject per day. So I go into the scheduler, and I go to, uh, you know, I choose one child at a time, and I look at maybe um, social studies. And they'll have social studies, and they'll have a one going across um, the days of the week to make up maybe five hours of social studies. Rather than me having one hour of social studies on each one of the days, Monday through Friday, or however many days a week you go through, I go on Monday and I click and I put five hours on Monday, and then I go Tuesday zero all the way through the rest of the week. So that way when the scheduler is run, it will put all of the courses that would have been spread out through the week on that one day. And then you go down the list to math and you do the same thing, but maybe you'll choose Tuesday. So you'll put a zero in Monday, you'll put a five on Tuesday, and zero for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And you do this until you have staggered it and you've done all of the courses. Now some of the courses is going to, um, you know, be a little overlapping, so you might have to add something um, extra to one of the days, but it really is not that, um, that hard to do. It took me... Um, about 20 minutes to figure out how to do this last year. And this is after a few students had contacted me based on watching my videos and said to me, oh, this is how my schedule is. My schedule isn't like that. This is how my mom does it. And it just took me a minute to just really think about it. Like, wow, you know, I do have control over the video. I mean, not the video, but over the schedule. Um, so that's one thing that I do differently. Secondly, um, because I have a third child in the home who is not in actual school right now, he is two years old, his name is Malcolm, it has become a little bit harder to get that quality time with each student all through the day. So the way that I have it scheduled, I know who has the hardest um, load for the day. If math is the hard load for my seventh grader, then I know on that day I will concentrate and sit with her and do a lot of things with her while I let the, the younger one, the third grader, just go through and do um, as many of the lessons that she's able to do on her own. And then the next day I might switch it up. But what I have found is that it is virtually impossible to have two students on that big of an age gap who are doing different things at different times and have the two-year-old interrupting every five minutes to just run back and forth. So I don't do that anymore. So that's um, the only tip that I have regarding that. I have not um, changed anything else yet as far as looking into other curriculums and all that stuff. But one thing that I know, and it helped me to relax this year a little bit more than last year, is that I know that at any point I can stop this and I can go down to the district, put my intent to homeschool in, give them my objectives for the year, and go it alone. I know that I can do it. It's just that um, when you have a whole lot of things going on, 
in your in your life besides the homeschool, it's kind of hard to get started. And we had death in the family and a whole bunch of other things that came up over the summer. So I just, you know, decided to just not do that. And that's basically it. So this has been Tinka OES Lady. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.